Hey guys, Jason here from Timber Falls, the home for CNC creators like you. In today's spotlight, we're diving into the bevel carving tool in CarveCo Maker. This tool is great for making raised bevel profiles using a V-bit and an end mill. We're going to select our lettering for the bevel carving, and I'm going to select the carve tool as the 90 degree V-bit. And we do not want to cut all the way through our material. It says 0.5. We're only going to go 0.25. And we want our wall height, let's also set that to 0.125, or an eighth of an inch. If we click center line, just like the V-bit gave us our max depth of cutting down, the center line gives us our max height of 0.638. And what that means is, is in order to make this a perfect bevel on top, it needs 0.638 inches to form each one of those. If I were to kick calculate, we forgot a profiling tool. We're going to add a profiling tool, and this is to go around the letters, and I'm going to select something small, the 1 16th tapered ball nose. You can set it to climb or conventional. You can change the feed rate if you need to. Now it's saying that there's not enough height to complete the whole bevel. That's because my material is not deep enough or thick enough for the entire function for the size that these vectors are at. If we were to simulate this, you can see that it's given us this beveled carving that has some letters standing proud. Now what you would want to do after this is to run a pocketing toolpath around all the letters to cut away the material away from the letters. And that would give you this beveled raised look. Let's close this, close our simulation, open our toolpath back up, and let's do that. Let's do the area clearance again. And we're going to use the 1 8 down cut and our finish depth is 0.25. Let's use offset and let's calculate that. Now if I go to my toolpaths and let's bring up a simulation. Let's simulate all the toolpaths. You can see that now that we've done that area clearance we have our beveled raised letters. This toolpath is overlooked by a lot of people. They probably don't really understand how the bevel toolpath works, uh, but it can give you some really neat and interesting designs. If this tutorial has helped you out, I'd appreciate a like, and if you're not already subscribed, consider joining us for more tips and tricks. Before you go, don't forget to take advantage of our discounts on Jenny Bits, Palm CNC, and Corfco products. Just use the code TIMBERFALLS at checkout. I have all the links and details in the description below. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to our next one. And let's keep making bit happen. <laughs> <laughs>